Okay, back again. Dawn here. We're gonna make sure we're making a video. Okay. I tried to put OBS back in. It won't. It wants to follow me. I hate it when they do that. They're following me to where I'm at, so I'll have to leave it there for now. Head next. It's testing. I guess it's test no matter what you, you, you what you do. Uh, <clears throat> Although I don't remember seeing all that white uh, stuff in the background last time. <clears throat> okay, it's determined that 2,500 frames per second. Same, everything the same except for I'm going to leave the scaling rep, you know, the scaled resolution, scaled down resolution the same. Apply settings. And uh, get it back over to workspace one where I want it. Make sure we're still making a video over here. Yep. Okay, now. And again, I will just manually add a scene. I, I want to go ahead and rename it now. I'm going to say desktop one because I have a desktop scene, and if I end up... Uh, you know, importing all that stuff, then I don't want it being, uh, you know, conflicting or anything. And screen capture, X, XSHM is what it is. I already have the audio. Um, okay. And that's, I want it just exactly like it is, 1920 by 1080. And, I, yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and go into the settings. A couple of things I want to do. <clears throat> I want to add uh, the stream. That's all set up. The output, I'll leave it as, as the, the wizard set it up. Um, the recording's going to be the same as the stream. And then, uh, but I want, let's see, channel to desktop audio default, uh, mic, mic aux default, and then a mic aux 2 is the mono, which is my uh, lapel mic, which you may be going to hear in a second. But, oh, I need to go down here and mute it. Oh, I have to get out. Okay, yeah, no, I'll mute that, and now, we're, now we won't have a bad echo. Okay, now, where were we? Some things you got to do just to, and I really, I'm almost certain I, I was, uh, I just set the output scale to the same as that. Somewhere you can just tell it don't scale it down, but, because uh, I, I was doing perfect with it. But I, I know, I'm almost certain I just put them both the same, and then, um, and and it didn't scale. But uh, now, mic aux, you want that on control four, and the uh, lapel, we want it on control two. Oh, I didn't set any filters for the lapel, but I'll do that later. Okay, and advance, I'm not going to mess with. Okay. Now, the lapel, I can turn it on and off. I can't see them all. Okay. Okay, I'm on the SM58. Now we're on the lapel, and it doesn't look like it's working. Okay, SM58. <clears throat> yeah, the lapel won't be very good without uh, the... Uh, filters, you know, the, uh, the uh, compressor and the noise gate that I had set up. Okay, um, now, I'm going to exit so that it can save those settings because uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to hit start stream next. Let's see if it will stream. I'm opening up my browser on my laptop. I left it running so I could do this. <coughs> and 
And if that works, <laughs> then uh, <coughs> boy, will I be happy. And I will then I will go and import my other profiles and stuff. Okay, let's see. Got the audio turn on over there. Mute it so that I won't hear it till I want to hear it. Okay. Oh yeah, I'm still on my stream page, so I can see right there too. Actually, I think I'll close that. So, yeah, because when I start up that extra stream, I wanna. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's go to OBS on the left this time. Okay, now. Okay. I guess I can put OBS in there now. It didn't work in the uh, shortcuts. There we go. Now it's only got one like it should. And there's an extra space in there because there was two in there at one time. <clears throat> I'll have to drag all those over probably. Unless it reboots. Sometimes when you reboot, they'll all go back. But half the time, you have to drag them one at a time over where they belong. Okay. Now all we have is just a desktop scene and both mics <clears throat> now um, oh I forgot something I've been putting show confirmation on starting the streams because it was crashing let's just go ahead and do that and it's really a good idea to have a confirmation on and automatically start recording when stream when streaming keep recording when stream stops and then manually stop it in case you something goes wrong like uh, like if your stream stops because you lose your internet connection or something you don't want your you want to keep recording and I don't use the replay buffer keep replay buffer active when stream stops yeah that's like an instant replay thing you can set up Okay, yeah. I forgot about that. Okay, now. Should be ready. Well, let's go ahead and exit again because I forgot. I want to save the work. Because if it crashes, I know it will It will be gone. I've seen it happen again and again. It's opening up nice and fast. Man, I guess all those um, profiles I had in there was really slowing it down. All right, here we go. Cross your fingers. Do I really want to start the stream? Ah, look at there. It worked. We're not online yet, but it did not crash yet. And they're both saying, you know, you got stop streaming, stop recording. It's green. It's online. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Uh, I still don't see my desktop. Huh. But it's green. It's receiving content. I wonder if it's not going to be able to because of my other program. It has before. It always has. But uh, I don't know. Maybe this version can't do that. I'm going to give it a little longer. I'm starting to think that it can't because it usually, usually never takes that long on a when it's saying, you know, the stream is green, everything's good. Let's see if it can hear me. Doesn't seem to be able to hear me either. Now, sound is on. But uh, it shows green, starting stream, and, uh, well, I guess I should have left it. Um, oh, I think it's coming in finally. Yep, finally came in. I don't know why it took so long to come in. Okay, it's working. I don't know why it took that long to come in. Maybe some, maybe it's part of that is because I'm recording a video and streaming, and I'm recording another video over here on this one, and they do seem to be working okay. And probably working this machine a little hard. Let's see, am I getting a video over here too? Ah, it doesn't really look like it's getting a video over there. That looks like it's not working, recording a video. It's not growing in size. This one over here still is, but that one's staying the same. Hmm. 
Now, maybe that's got something to do with running two of them. Although I was been able to do that before, that's all I was able to do was record videos. Oh, but I can stream again. Okay, so. Um, yeah, I'm going to let it keep streaming, and if that video doesn't work. Well, you know what? I'm going to stop this little intro stream, start another one, and see if that video works. But, yeah, the next thing I'm going to do is look and see if I can f figure out how to freeze it at version 2.1 tw tw because if it goes to 2.22, it's going to start crashing again. All right, so we're going to stop stream, and then that'll be... Now, I don't didn't used to have that like that, so that's kind of bugging me. I'll probably turn that off. Well, it's actually... Well, I think it turned out to bug me so much, but anyway... I'm still recording, or I would be if it was working, but it is not working. I don't think. Okay, now, stop recording. I'm pretty sure that's the one. I think what I'll do is close OBS and uh, open it back up again because sometimes that'll fix little things like that. I'm going to open this video up, this 15 megabyte video, and see if it was that video, like I think. And, uh. Okay, now it's been 15 and 40 seconds. Yeah. Seems like it skipped a lot of the beginning. Oh, that's an old video. Oh, I know what the problem is. I had no problem. I, uh, I know exactly what it is. Same thing as the last time. Go to my home directory. Guess what I'll find? There it is. I'll wait and move it over there after I set the recording directory. I forgot to set the recording directory. Output. Home on. I don't know why it defaults to that. You should at least default to videos. Of course, not all Linux distros have... Uh, not all Linux distros have a, and I want it to know, oh, no, not that one. Uh, generate file name without space. I don't like spaces. Sometimes that causes trouble on some applications or, or like things like if I was to ever want to upload them somewhere besides YouTube, it might cause trouble with spaces in there. Okay, that's all I want to do right now. Okay, now, I will accept... I do want to. Um, I do want to. Let's see. I want to import. Yeah, let's go ahead and import my newest profile. Will that be okay? Maybe I should see how well it works first, just on a desktop video. Then I'll do some importing and all that. I'm going to exit so that it saves those settings. And now I can move that since it's not running. I don't want to cause it any trouble. So the reason I didn't see it making a file in there, because it was making it in my home directory. Now there it is. Okay, <clears throat> now, uh, for a backup, I'd like to keep, um, you know, making this desktop video with the other app, for a backup of a backup, I guess. Well, actually, I don't guess I have to do that. As long as this is making its backup video, I don't actually have to do that. But if I want to make any more changes in OBS, then I can start it back up. You know, things that I like, important that profile and stuff like that. Okay. But, yeah, I need a little break anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and...
stop, save this recording, stop it, and uh, then I'll come back with OBS itself. Okay.